You know, so what has Tejas done so dramatically right this quarter? I mean, the numbers look good and look at the stock flying away. Well, you know, so this is first, you know, about a company which makes equipment for telecom companies, right? Mm. For networking in particular, like routers, switches, etc. For wireless and wireline. And the company has been a beneficiary of Make in India. They participate in the PLI scheme, so they get incentives on the back of that. Uh, they've also been a beneficiary of moving away from China. Uh, you know, there is hope that because uh, Tata's are getting into semiconductors in a big way, maybe some orders will flow on the back of that, BSNL, Bharat Net. So, it, you know, the company has been a beneficiary of all that. In the last couple of orders, the company, a uh, couple of quarters, the company struggled <coughs> because they didn't get the required, some of the raw materials because of the entire, you know, the global crisis. Um, so they were not able to execute uh, the orders on hand. Uh, so that's the reason why the company was sitting on very large inventory uh, and they were reporting losses. Also bear in mind that Tejas Network's Q4 is the strongest quarter. But that said, even if you take into account, you know, if you strip out the seasonality associated with this, these are very strong numbers, right? 137% up on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis and 343% on a year-on-year -year basis. The company's clocked in an EBITDA profit of 150 crore, a bottom line profit also 146 crore after four cons five consecutive quarters of losses. The order book has been very strong for the company in the last three quarters. It's been close to about 8,000 to 9,000 crore over the last three quarters. This is on account of that BSNL. It was a large BSNL deal which pushed up the company's order book. The cash position is at about 641 crore rupees. And just to put into context the company's performance in the last you know, couple of years too. Um, th this time, the company's revenues have more than doubled in FI24 because of the strong showing. Uh, before that, for FI20, 21, 22, the revenues were flattish, 400 to 500 crore. It inched up in FI23. And now they've further gone up in FI24. And even on the bottom line, the company reported losses in FI22, 23, despite an improved revenue. But um, in FI24, the company has reported a profit of 63 crore. Okay, that's uh, Tejas Networks for you. Stock is doing really well. Um, and in the last one year, the stock has put on about 71%. So it's not been a you know, you know, massive outperformer. In the last two days, yeah. it's up 40%. Exactly. So, you know, so it's, if it's you not strip like... that out, it would have been a flat performance still day before. Which is exactly what the chart yeah. says, that this is all about what's happened now in the last couple of days. Otherwise, this was an underperforming stock if you look at the rest of the mid-cap mania that played out in the market over the last um, 12 months. So big catch-up by Tejas Networks today. Let's